as you can imagine if I am here because I have to uh, to pull out from the tournament now. Rafael Nadal, the 22-time Grand Slam men's singles champion, is suffering from an abdominal injury. Reports have been that the injury is about 7 millimeters. Rafael Nadal has been playing the Wimbledon event, strapping over his lower abdomen. The 36-year-old has also suffered from a chronic foot injury. He used medications in the form of Injex to numb the pain and played French Open earlier this year. Before Wimbledon started, there were doubts that whether Rafael Nadal will participate in the grass tournament or not because of his foot injury. He somehow managed to participate. Not just participate, he was able to book his spot in the semi-final. During Wimbledon, he suffered from an abdominal injury and now it is impossible for him to continue playing in the grass tournament. And now, Rafael Nadal has withdrawn from the semi-final of Wimbledon. In this video, we'll talk about why Rafael Nadal has withdrawn from the semi-finals. After putting in so much effort into the Grand Slam and reaching up to the semi-finals, it must be hard for him. We'll tell you about the injuries Rafael Nadal has been suffering from. But before we move forward, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Rafael Nadal withdraws from Wimbledon 2022 Rafael Nadal was scheduled to play his semi-final match against Nick Kyrgios on the 8th of July. But one night before his big match, he withdraws from the semi-final due to an abdominal injury. Rafael Nadal, the 22-time Grand Slam champion, said that he was suffering from severe abdominal pain from the last week, but he managed to play. After his match with Taylor Fritz, Rafael Nadal said he would get a medical test prior to his semi-final. The reports of this medical test will determine whether he will play the next match or not. He was determined to play the semi-final. He was also seen practicing on-site for his match. But one day before the semi-final, a press conference was scheduled on half-hours notice. The conference was held at All England Lawn Tennis Club. In the press conference, Rafael Nadal announces that he will not continue Wimbledon 2022. I never considered the calendar slam, Nadal said in the press conference. The fact that I was here demonstrates how important this tournament is to me and how badly I wanted to play here. I did everything I could to give myself the best chance here. I'm in the semi-finals, so I've been playing very well the last few days. Especially in the last match with Taylor Fritz. At the start of the game, I was playing at an extremely high level. Rafael Nadal also told that during the match at one point, he was worried that he will not be able to finish the game. He told about his injury and said, I've been suffering from pain in the abdominal. There is a tear in the muscle. I've made the decision because I don't believe I can win two matches under these circumstances. He also said that trying to play the game can make things worse. Not only I can't serve at the right speed, but I also can't do the normal movement to serve, Nadal explained. I don't want to go out there and not be competitive enough to play at the level to achieve my goal. And there is a big chance to make the thing much worse. Obviously, Rafael Nadal cannot risk his health to play the semi-final. What if he tries and the injury gets worse? The player has put his health before the game and we all think it's good for him. Rafael Nadal's match with Taylor Fritz Rafael Nadal struggled with the injury during his five-set victory in the quarterfinal against Taylor Fritz. The problem started some days earlier this match, but the abdominal issue accelerated during his quarterfinal match with American player Taylor Fritz. The family, including his father and sister, urged Rafael Nadal to withdraw and not risk his health, but he somehow managed to play. It was not an easy match for him. He was able to put his injury to one side in the opening four rounds, but the injury refused to stay aside on center court against Fritz. During the quarterfinal match, Rafael Nadal lost the first set. Rafael Nadal was visibly weakening. He was clocking between 101 miles an hour and 105 miles an hour in a hard-fought hold to make it 4-3 in the second. During the match, Rafael Nadal headed off the court for a medical timeout. Rafael Nadal's father was continuously signaling him from the court to quit the match but Rafael Nadal decided to continue the match. A few minutes later, he was back and won the next round. There was a tiebreak at this point. He served very slow at first, below 100 miles an hour. However, a tiebreak was not required as Nadal defied his injury concerns to break Fritz in the 12th game and level the match, which was a feat that drew the loudest applause of the day so far. And at the end, Nadal did it again, coming back from a 2-1 deficit to force a tiebreak and fittingly, it was a super tiebreak that decided that match. From 5-0, Nadal held off Fritz's mini-comeback to win 10-4.
After the match, he was asked why he did not listen to his father and his sister. He said, Yeah, they told me that I had to retire from the match. Even though I had the idea for a long time, retiring in the middle of a match is difficult for me. I did it a couple of times during my tennis career, but it's something I despise. So I just keep trying, and that's all there is to it. No doubt from this brilliant performance that Rafael Nadal is a legend. When will Rafael Nadal be back? This withdrawal of Rafael Nadal has sent the opponent, Nick Kyrgios, directly into the final of Wimbledon 2022. It would be his first time to go to that point. The final will be played on the 10th of July. The unseeded Australian will face the winner of Novak Djokovic versus Cameron Norrie in the top half semi-finals. Nick Kyrgios also wishes a quick recovery to Rafael Nadal in his Instagram post. Different players, different personalities. I hope your recovery goes well and we all hope to you healthy again and soon. Not just this, this withdrawal has ended Rafael Nadal's bid for the Grand Slam, following his titles at the Australian Open and Roland Garros earlier this year. Rafael Nadal now owns four titles and a 35-3 record. Rafael Nadal has said that after taking some rest, he hopes that he'll be able to continue his planned schedule within the duration of four weeks. The Spaniard said, My hope is that in three to four weeks, I'll be able to resume my normal schedule. I'll be able to play from the baseline without serving in a week. That's a good thing. Rafael Nadal foot injury Abdomen injury is not the only pain Rafael Nadal is enduring. Rafael Nadal suffers from muscle degenerative syndrome, Müller-Weiss. Before Wimbledon, he was not sure if he will play the grass tournament or not, but he underwent a procedure on his foot and continued the treatments on it. He got nerve injections during the French Open earlier this season so he could continue playing. Other than this, he also went through radio frequency nerve ablation after the French Open tournament. But Rafael Nadal got recovered and while speaking to the media before Wimbledon started, Rafael Nadal said that the treatments were successful and now he's pain free, almost, and he thinks he can play. Although he is not sure for how long he'll feel better. He said the overall feelings were positive and he is on positive terms with pain. When he was asked about his foot nerve procedure, he said obvious things are going better, which is why he's here. He was happy with how the things have evolved, but at the same time, he said that he cannot be super excited for the grass tournament because he does not know how things might change and the foot pain may resurface. While Rafael Nadal was all worried about his foot injury, how could he know about the abdominal injury he was going to suffer? So this was all from the video. Hope you all liked it. The tennis legend Rafael Nadal has now withdrawn from the Wimbledon 2022. So what are your expectations with the game? Who do you guys think will take the trophy home? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Other than that, best wishes for Rafael from all of us. We hope he gets better soon and can play as soon as possible. See you again with another video on another topic soon. Till then, bye bye.